So there we go, everyone. It's ended at St. James's Park, Newcastle United 3, Southampton 1. Wow, did Newcastle do that the hard way. Bloody hell. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing. Another massive win. Another massive win towards our Champions League dreams. Um, oh, just unbelievable. You know, um, the first half, Newcastle were not at the best. They didn't really get goal and they weren't pressing. They were very sloppy on the ball. I would say Southampton were the better team in the first half. Um, we just weren't the team that we've looked, especially against Spurs and against Everton in the second half. Against Everton when we dominated them. But going back to the last home game against Spurs, this was completely different. When we played Spurs, we came at the blocks, we're 5 0 in 20 minutes. And every game's different, it's not always going to be 5 0 in 20 minutes. But we're very slow at this game, very slow start. Um, no Sean Longstaff, he was out the day, so Julian dropped in. Gordon went on the left, Isaac was through the middle, Murphy on the right. It's basically 1 0 to Southampton at half time. Um, they have great play on the right hand side. A ball comes along into the box, and it's just a tap in. It's an easy, easy tap in for the player who scored their goal. Very poor defender from Newcastle for that goal concede. We conceded first. Um, and like I said, when in half time, it was 1 0. Eddie Howard had a word with him, come out the second half. We're much better in the second half. Callum Wilson came in at half time, so Isaac went on the left, which for me, Isaac is much better on the left wing then as a number nine in the middle of the box, because he is class at running. He's on the left, he runs at people, terrorises them and cuts in, does, he can he creates stuff. I truly believe Isaac is better as a left winger, as a three strikers, than in the middle. I truly believe that Isaac, Wilson and Almiron should be our front three. But we can't really play them up top together because if one of them gets an injury at Wilson, we've got a new one on the bench. We haven't really got a backup striker. Maybe that's what we need to look at in the summer. A young, talented, young, hungry striker to come in um, off the bench. That's one we're going to look at. But today, I think also, don't want to be too negative on Bruno. For me, Bruno today made a few mistakes. Um, give the ball away. And there's a few times where he got out muscles on the ball and... I think for their goal, um, Bruno got out muscled on the ball and they went the counter-attack and they scored that goal for that. So he'll know that. Um, Bruno wasn't the best today. His passing wasn't... Some passes were good, but I believe he's better than that. So he had a bit of an off day. Um, Botman made a mistake and all. I don't know what half it was in, but he headed it back to Port and it was too short. So I think that's just nerves. So, you know, we're going for Champions League. Callum Wilson comes in at half-time and, by God, he made an absolute masterclass of his performance in the second half he's 54 minutes in and he's already scored and um, it's Isaac with a wonderful ball down the left skins a few people puts the ball in the box to Callum Wilson just ball throws it and Wilson just does what he does best the poacher hits it bit scuffs it but it goes in the net and it's 1-1 and there you go and after that the crowd's back up now we're back into the game um, and then a bit later in the game, um, there's a VAR because another chance from Callum Wilson. He scores it, but the flag goes up by VAR. VAR checks it. And um, the VAR take ages. They're looking at it because it looks like it goes in between the legs of two players, Newcastle 1 and um, their defender. And if it hits their defender, it would have been a goal. Because of a conflict, but the must have so far for me, I can't see. Um, I don't know, I'm 50 50 on that, but obviously, I don't know what they saw. They must have thought it come off Newcastle player, so fair enough. I'll have to look at it back. Um, so that was disallowed that goal. Um, and then not long after that, he actually did get a goal, he got a goal. Um, and Willix pressing, pressing, pressing with him, um, Callum Wilson, the pressing up the pitch. And basically said, I make a mistake. Callum Wilson runs the end of it, goes around their goalkeeper and slots it home. You know, he could have had a hat-trick today. Callum Wilson was man the match for me. He came on and he changed the whole game. He was absolutely incredible. He had two goals, could have been three. Um, and Thiel Walcott scored his own goal. That's what happened. So it's 3-1. And um, yeah, first half, I was nervous. 1-0 down. I thought, God, we're going to drop points here. I was a bit nervous. Crowd was a bit quiet. Everyone's a bit apprehensive, thinking, shit. Came out second half, we destroyed them. Just like we did the last game, we came out second half, we destroyed them. Um, 
yeah, I'm just buzzing me at this end and this this stage of the season. It's just about getting the result. It's not about the performance, really. It's about getting the result. And even though Newcastle didn't play that well, I wouldn't say they played the best today. We've got the three points, and that's all I know. Next, I think it's Arsenal at home, and if we did beat them, we we'll go seven points behind them. That's what I mean. Can we catch Arsenal? I've, I don't think so because we're ten points ahead. But if we beat them. And then there's four games to go. You never know. If we won all the games, I lost them all. We could in a second, but I don't know. I just think that top two are flying by. Manchester City have won today. They went top. It looks like Arsenal are going to be runners up after being top pretty much all season. You know what I mean? But yeah, Newcastle are third, comfortably in third. I think we're something like 11 points in, in the Champions League places now. And I know that Liverpool play Tottenham at Anfield. So I'm hoping that's a draw. I don't want Liverpool to win because they are the team that I think could catch Newcastle because they could go on a great run. But I'm hoping for a draw. Um, yeah, I hope that's a draw at Anfield. I just so we get two points on each of them. I think that'll be a very good result for Newcastle United. But yeah, Newcastle got the job done today. Um, I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm delighted with the three points. I never had a massive win for the Toon Army. Um, yeah. Let me know in the comments section what you thought about the game. If you could also like and subscribe to the channel, that would be great as well. Hit the bell notification so you'll be notified of my future videos I post. That would be great, people. Massive, massive win for Newcastle today. I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, enjoy your rest of your bank all the weekend, and I'll see you on the next one.